Ja. Got a lot to talk about. We're going to have to talk about this Cleopatra documentary. Donnie Shockley here, barbershop professor, where we cover academic topics in a non-academic way. We're going to have to get through this one. So I was able to watch the Cleopatra documentary that everybody was upset about uh, with Cleopatra having being a woman of African ancestry, right? I had already, you know, had plenty of videos on it. I already talk, spoke about it before Queen Cleopatra. Okay, let's just talk about the doc, docu-series, documentary, something like that. We'll talk more. All right, first, we have to start here. This is about entertainment. This is, might try to be informative, but Netflix's main goal and the producer's main goal, even Jada Pinkett Smith, is to make money. The way you make money off of visuals is to entertain people. Okay? That is their, their main goal, right? So when it comes to uh, how it was shot, the filming, the actors, the different things like that, I thought it was great. And I wouldn't expect any less. You know, Netflix, you know, put money into this and everything like that. And so it actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, so we have to start there. Two, are we going to do two? Uh, let's just dig into the documentary. Okay, so one of the first things that it did was depict a diverse Egypt. Now, this is always controversial for whatever reason. We speak about how multiple populations actually uh, occupied Egypt, maybe conquered Egypt at one time and ruled, um, or were the ruling class at least, and different things like that. Well, this depicted a, a diverse Egypt, people of all different types of skin colors, Roman, but it also depicted a lot of black people. And I think, honestly and truly, when it comes down to it, I've already talked about it, Again, if you disagree with me, give me some evidence. Go look at the paintings yourself. They had tan paint. They had white paint. They had all the colors that you need for to paint white people. But they painted their people and they depicted themselves with dark skin. Sorry, it might hurt your feelings. You may have never heard it before, but it's probably for a reason. Anyway, we'll continue. They depicted a diverse Egypt. I'm looking down at my notes too, so y'all gonna have to bear with me because I don't have any other way. Um, and so I was watching this film and something that was really interesting was like, this is a really like juicy story. Like this was like, you know, it was all types of stuff going on. This felt like succession for a second or something like that, right? You got the kids, and Cleopatra's one of the sisters, and then her brother's going to try to take over, but and then the older sister, and who should be the throne, and the maneuvering to keep power, and then the relationships and everything like that. And I was like, this is a juicy story, right? We'll talk about more about that later, but that was one of the things that I that I saw. Now, as we got into like them covering the life of Cleopatra, one of the things I could not stop thinking in my head is, where they getting all this information from? Like I don't, I don't. They didn't, they didn't cite any like primary sources. Even they didn't even say, hey, written in blah blah blah. You know, this this opinion is is shown to you in blah blah blah. This was in this hieroglyph. This was in this scroll. This was in nothing. It was just people just telling narratives. Now I'm sure these are well distinguished people, scholars, right? Doctors, um, people who have done all types of research and stuff like that. But it really pained me not to hear any reference to any source that you could go to to read yourself that I could go to to read myself or I could see myself or you could see yourself to confirm what they were saying 
and that's the big part about Cleopatra in general. There's not that much like evidence on who she was. We know her position, you know, and then well, even that, right? I'm gonna question it all. I think you should question me. I'm gonna question it too. Everything, the good stuff, the bad, or what I think is the good stuff, what I think is the bad stuff. I think it all needs to be questioned, right? Where are is this information coming from? Is really really important. Like one of the one of the one of the scholars said, like Mark Anthony had clinical depression, and I thought to myself, they didn't even they didn't they didn't characterize any clinical depression now course you can pathologize if you want to from whatever accounts they were written but at the same time like why are we even using this language when it came to somebody who was having a hard time distraught or anything like that showed any of those signs they even mentioned they talked about one um one story where uh cleopatra was snuck into uh, snuck into caesar's room um in a bag or in a carpet or whatever and they were saying that that story will first account it like after oh man my light off oh well we'll keep it going they were talking about how that story first came up after like 150 years after cleopatra's death So a person who did not know, who was not there, who couldn't even like hear somebody else confirm it or anything like that, just wrote it. Come on, y'all. What's the what's and that's the that's the thing with history, right? When you don't have bones and skeletons, you don't got stuff written in stone, right? Or painted in stone, right? It's hard to even even the stuff that's written in stone. It all can be propagandized. They talked about, in one portion, they talked about how the Romans were um, feeling threatened by Cleopatra because of her power over uh, Mark Antony, right? Um, And they would just spread propaganda. They would say everything about her. She was a temptress, right? You know, they said Octavius, I think his name was Octavius, the person who eventually... Uh, killed Mark Antony and conquered Cleopatra actually wouldn't look her in the eye because he feared like her being captivated or whatever right these are stories these are this is propaganda right so even the history and the documents that we find just because they're ancient don't mean that they weren't told with the slant it doesn't mean that they were dedicated to truth, right? There were some cultures that were dedicated to truth and recorded like good things, bad things, wins and losses. Kemet, right? So that was a very interesting portion to me, right? When it came to like, just like, where are we getting this information from? All right, next. There was all this controversy about Black Cleopatra. One of the statements that one of the, I think he was Egyptian character, uh, or Egyptian scholar, said was, hey, Cleopatra is so cool because we can all see her in us, right? We can all imagine her how we, you know, how we want to almost, Right? And the thought that came to me was like, hey, we can imagine her the way we want to unless she's black, unless she's melanated. Crazy, right? What does that say about our perception of history? What does it say about Egypt in general, right? Another note that it mentioned, right, was the Egyptian territories, right? How they, how they actually, like, the what we see as Egypt right now, they actually went into, like, Persian lands, right? Mark Antony, like, gave some land over to Cleopatra. They went up into, um, you know, what is now known as, like, Israel. And, you know, they went further in, right? These are people that are moving, right? People move. Can you believe it? Even in ancient times, people moved. What? Black people moved around the world? 
All right, there's that one. Let me see here. We also got, um, okay, here's another thing about her being black. <sighs> Every, like, there was such pride in her being black. Um, you know, Jada Pinky, the producers, everybody talking about like Cleopatra being black, right? Which I think there's a great possibility that she was of mixed race and had African ancestry as well. Um, obviously dedicated to Africa and its pro and, and its religions, its methods, its culture, and different things like that. Most people who are not of a culture don't necessarily dedicate themselves to a different culture. That's here nor there. Most of the time, at least. So, um, she's black. Cleopatra was black. Black and black, black, black. And then I'm watching this documentary, and she was humping every powerful white dude she could. What is going on here? Is this what we're proud of? This kind of goes to my initial argument about Cleopatra. Like, Cleopatra is probably the most famous Egyptian pharaoh. Is what she called herself, right? And she was in Egypt, right? The, the last, the most powerful, uh, or the most popular Egyptian female pharaoh. Because of her proximity to whiteness. It was because of her proximity to Julius Caesar. Her proximity to Mark Anthony. This whole docuseries just perpetuated the narrative of black people needing to be close to whiteness in order to gain power, um, in order to be... Um, um, to be le to be legitimized, like that's what this perpetuated. The whole the whole series was about her relationships with um, with Mark Antony. She's having these the they children, right, and everything like that. They go off and then they come in. She she had all kinds of kids, right? She Mark Antony's children. Then he, he had his twins, I guess, and then he was just gone for like three years. Right? She wasn't, like, it, it, it was like, wh what are we doing? Why are we proud of this? Why, why is this so popular? Not to say that there's nothing to be proud about or nothing to admire about Cleopatra, but it was really interesting that this was like the perpetuation of um, a, a specific narrative that is still carried out today. That, that was just crazy to me. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What else? Um, yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that. Um, the what I want to say about these docu series, and what I really want to leave you with is why is the story being told? Why is the story being allowed to be told? These are really these are things that we have to think about, right? All of history. Well, let's just let me tell you this. History and the narrative of history that we're taught here in America and most else all around the world has a racist slant. It does. They've, they've done science experiments where you can look at a molecule, right? And they record the molecule. And then when you look at it, it does something different than when you don't look at it because you have a perspective. The people 300, 400 years ago, 200 years ago, 60, 70 years ago, were all mostly white men. They're going to have a perspective, the education that we get taught is indoctrination. It, it's for a reason. And indoctrination doesn't always have to have a negative, uh, uh, be a negative thing, right? You know, brainwash, right? Indoctrinate, right? It doesn't, because we, we do that with our children. We, wanna, we want them to understand, like, it's not cool to kill people. 
We want you, you know, we want you to understand, like, don't steal from people. This is wrong. But in this case, right, the perpetual, the, the narrative that we have been given and fed depicts the subordinate or subordinate. I don't even know if that the the depicts black people as less than depicts black people as absent from the contributions of humanity depicts black people um as a depicts the start of black people and their history from slavery they don't so these it actually does serve them to to maintain a second like a you know second class citizenry right to exploit to have do the dirty work to have work the minimum wage jobs right that's been black people for the entirety of this country sometimes they just find new ways to do it when it comes to this cleopatra it was entertaining there were some things that I that I can, you know, there were some things about like Cleopatra's daughter who was also named Cleopatra. I think it was Cleopatra Selene becoming the uh, a queen in Mauritania. Right? Hmm. She went over to West Africa? You mean to tell me people from Egypt had the means to travel to West Africa? Hmm, very interesting. Anyway, that's a different subject. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it at least makes you think about something. And again, I don't need you to believe me. Go see it for yourself. If you do uh, disagree with me, that's fine. But if you leave a comment, put some, put, tell me why you disagree with me. Give me some facts. Tell me where to go to find these stories or accounts of Cleopatra. I would love to know. But as far as I know, it's limited. And so, it's cool to imagine Cleopatra as a white woman, but if she's a melanated mixed person with some African ancestry, it's all of a sudden a problem. I think, in general, that is, we look at history, and that shows how much of a problem we have. All right, y'all. That's today's class. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, I'm keep I'm gonna keep coming. I keep telling you I'm gonna keep coming. It's coming. Press all the buttons. Donnie Chocolate Barbershop Professor. Peace.